How could she? How could she do that to me? What did I ever do to her? I didn't do anything to you. It's into the onion bag for her. Why does this child sound like she's 40 years old and what is an onion bag? That so man. I'm beating kids to death with a metal pipe. No, this is not going well. My dog is getting beaten up. If I can kill this giant thing with the scissors. Y'all, this is not going how I want it to. Ah, shit. Hey, I just died again. We're gonna have to redo this. Okay, explain how they can shank me from there. Oh, you have a freaking pitchfork. That's what this is. I feel like if I can hit both of you, life will be better. Uh, but right now I'm not hitting anyone. I'm just dying. You're not even a freaking boss, dude. Okay, being stabbed with a pitchfork. Come on. Come on. I don't appreciate how terrible these hitboxes are. Come on. I feel like I'm making it somewhere. I feel like Brown and I are making it somewhere. I feel like we are. Come on. Okay, we're about to die. Oh, we killed one of them. We killed one of them. We killed one of them. Come on, please. Oh my God. Okay, we killed them, at, but at what cost? We're now gonna be limping our life. No, and even worse is I missed the gun. Oh, yikes. <sighs> you have no idea how long this took. This took a really, really, really long time. It is very up my alley. It's actually been a little scary for me, if I'm being honest. It's made me really uncomfortable. Good, because uh, you would have just seen me die a bunch of times. Um, trigger warning for this game. I there forgot to write the triggers are. down. to you <laughs> it's into the onion bag for her. <laughs> why does this child sound like she's 40 years old and what is an onion bag what the hell creating an entire ecosystem. <laughs> wow! Well, that was the onion bag, everybody. You don't want to go in there. Memory serves me correctly. You finally found a piece of your precious oath. Now weave together the memories that shall serve as your beacon of light. Your beacon of light. Hey, are you telling me that I'm gonna get a flashlight? A ragged goat doll is lying on the floor. I would love that goat doll. A piece of paper is underneath it. Even true love is quickly shredded by... It's story reading time. The Goat Sisters. Little sister wrote a letter, ba-ba. 
Big sister munched it up. Ba ba. Little sister studied her notes. Ba ba. Big sister tore them to shreds. Ba ba. Little sister wanted to read big sister the letter, so she fetched it from her sister's stomach. But with the big sister dead in a pool of amber blood, who is there to read the letter to? Ba ba. Even true love is quickly shredded by conflict. Lies, you can work through conflict. The unlucky girl remembered the promise she made to her dear friend. She wrote it on the chalkboard. She never forget it ever again. We have two words now. Everlasting true love. Back with this little twerp. Twerp that started it all. How was it, Jennifer? Do you remember now? Hmm, I see you remember. Second. That's really not all of it. You really are a silly girl. Hurry, hurry. Read another story, Jennifer. <laughs> Thinking about my childhood makes me want to throw up, so I have no response right now. Oh, did you, have we really done two stories already? I forget the first one. Do you guys remember what the first story was? Jennifer found Mermaid Princess. Mermaid Princess. A long, long time ago, the mermaid princess fell in love with a human prince. For years, her love went unrequited. Before long, she was old and decrepit, all alone, even on the day of her death. Poor, poor princess of the Sea Kingdom. Who'd ever want to become an ugly woman like her? Can't wait to find the moral of this story. This, I can't, this is like stuff that I was writing as a kid. I used to write so many stories when I was a kid. I had an obsession with cannibals as a kid. Like, I found them so funny and fascinating. Like, whenever we used to make, like, short films or anything, I, like, there'd always be, like, a cannibal storyline. I can't remember, like, what I would have seen as a child. I probably learned about them in history. That's the messed up thing. I don't know what I would have seen that would have made me, like, like cannibals. I've shared this before. When the unlucky girl closed the storybook, the strong old princess was there in the room. She said sourly, Rats. Fish is gone. Mr. Hoffman will be- what? You should be looking for your own precious thing. Rude. Well, I don't know where the fish went. It's probably dead now. Thank you, trash can, but we're good. I think. I don't know. I'm still very confused. We're on an airship. We were in an orphanage, and now we're on an airship, and we were on a boat, and- or not a boat, we were on a bus. Guys, this is where the gun is. I cannot get into it. It's a shame. Hello? I swear I hear crying. Or I heard crying. I hear crying, I swear. And for once, it's not one of the babies in my house. Oh. You're the smallest one, I think. Hmm? No way! There's no such thing! This month's gift, an unmarried mermaid. Damn, I only have married mermaids. So I'm thinking like, yikesy, yikesy, I don't know. I'm thinking an unmarried mermaid. Maybe like we can find a doll and a fish and like pack and slash them together. The cold princess and the wise looking princess were talking. The unlucky girl quietly listened in. Diana was quite upset, don't you think? Don't you think that was too much? I can't read punctuation. We had to do it. Besides, there's no such thing as mermaids. Don't you agree, Mag? You're right. That was the only thing we could do. Then the wise-looking princess asked, How about you, Jennifer? Do you believe in mermaids? The old princess said, They're such beautiful and pure creatures. You're looking for a mermaid too, aren't you? Then you'd better hurry. Diana might find it before you. All right, Brown, lead the way. Who is this old man? And who is that girl? Cool, a meat cleaver. So now we have half of a fish. Fish has it's been chopped off its body. I wanted the other half of a fish. This reminds me of that thing that's like, what if a mermaid was like um, the other way around? Like that's what we're dealing with right now. The fish has got to be this way, I just know it. Too bad you don't have a freaking dog to help you. Oh, we are doing a reverse mermaid. Oh my god, what the f- I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh... 
This got beat to death by, I think, some fish head kids. I do not even know what that was. That happened so suddenly. Like, I guess Brown can just walk straight through them. Oh, they drop down. Okay, we can just run right by them. That was a lot of drama for nothing. I'm gonna tentatively say trigger warning for this scene. I have no clue. Yeah, I had a feeling that there's gonna be some say stuff. Guys, I need to get better at my trigger warnings. I'm so sorry. Okay, so apparently this is the hardest boss. Don't let her drop straight above you. When she does drop, you can hit her a couple times and run off before she hits you back. She isn't that hard, it's just difficult because of the gameplay. It seems to be that we have to learn her noises and we have to anticipate what she does and run around. This is saying, stay away from the bed. When she jumps down, run behind her and hit her twice at most, then run. She would probably try to puke. Yes, puke on you, which can do a moderate amount of damage, especially if you're caught in the middle of it. This may be a long battle. All right, already fucked up. Already fucked up. Great. All right, we didn't get a single hit in. Well, apparently range does not matter because I'm not hitting her. We're gonna grab meat cleaver and I guess just get up in her business. Okay, so if she's around the bed, I'm trying to get out of the freaking goo. If she's around the bed, we can't fight her at all. God, you are puking everywhere. Have you ever thought about stopping that? Okay, I didn't mean to run into there. Okay. We got one hit in. I do not feel confident about this. And then I don't think we can get any hits in when she's by the bed. All right, I somehow managed to pull off getting one hit with that. Only the one hit wonder at this rate. I just wanna say this is a very grotesque boss if what I'm understanding the imagery to be is what I understand it to be. Okay, rude of you to bitch slap me. I just absolutely love that, like, she can hit me, like, we'll miss each other, but then hit each other. I'm about to die. Good. All right. We're gonna try this again. All right. But Meat Cleaver's still the best weapon right now. I also have the Ice Pick. I don't know if that helps. All right, here we go. So we're gonna try this one more time. I'm gonna grab a ribbon. We're gonna look for chocolate. We're gonna try the boss fight one more time. Otherwise, we're gonna attempt it again tomorrow. All right, guys, it looks like we are not winning this one. But once again, I feel like we did better each time. And that's all that matters. 